When it comes to the workplace, it's little things that can create barriers for people with disabilities. Barriers can be in processes, in a tool we use in our work like a computer, an aspect of the physical environment, or attitudes. Listen to this story about a job ad that wasn't accessible. I found one that sounded just perfect in terms of my qualifications. The position was for a disability counselor. But when I tried to access the rest of the information about the job, my screen reader couldn't read it. The website was not accessible. So I called to ask for more information. The difficulty I'm having is that I can't access the information on your website with my screen reader. So is there someone who can spend uh, a few minutes with me going over some of the information? I'd like to apply for the job. There's a lot of information here. I don't have the time right now to give you everything. But if you give me your name and number, we'll be sure to have someone give you a call back. Unfortunately, no one called back. And because the website wasn't accessible, I wasn't able to even apply for the position. The next time I applied for a job, I was fortunate because I found a, an employer who made sure that their website was accessible. And I was able to read the whole thing, including the history of the organization. I did apply for that job, and finally, I was able to get an interview. With an ad that wasn't accessible, the first organization missed out on reaching a good candidate. But you know, making an accessible document isn't all that difficult. In this next clip, a project manager talks about how simple physical accommodations at the office made all the difference. I work in project management for a training company. For me, the first day on the job was a challenging part, but nothing we couldn't work out. The desk I was given wasn't designed to fit a wheelchair. Plus, all the reference documents the information design team used were placed on a shelf too high for me to reach. A different desk and moving the books made everything work fine for me. According to Statistics Canada, Ontarians with disabilities are more likely to be unemployed or underemployed. By making your recruitment processes and employment policies more accessible, you open your doors to a much larger resource pool. It's a win-win situation. So how do you open your doors? It's all about looking at your human resource processes through an additional lens. Some of you may be familiar with the Employment Standards Act. It sets out the minimum fairness standards for the workplace. The Employment Standard, under the Integrated Accessibility Standards Regulation, is different. It deals with accessibility in the employment cycle. It builds on the obligations that employers have under the Ontario Human Rights Code. The standard formalizes workplace accessibility processes that many organizations already have in place. And, accommodating specific accessibility needs due to disability doesn't usually take as much effort as you might think. The majority of people with a disability require no accommodations at all. A recent study found that when accommodations are required, employers reported that 56% of accommodations cost absolutely nothing to make, while the rest typically cost only $500 or less. For such a small cost, the rewards are immeasurable. For your organization, for your new and existing employees, for the bottom line of your business. The employment standard, as outlined in this module, addresses the processes and procedures organizations follow in recruiting and accommodating their employees. The standard will help people with disabilities participate in our labor force and economy, and will help employers find untapped talent. 